Hi, everyone. Aaron here for Zolotech. And over the past week, there's been a lot of interesting information that keeps coming out, confirming a lot of the different information we've heard about the iPhone 12, the new iPhone SE, Air Power, Apple Watch, iOS 14, and more. And so we'll cover some of those things today and see what some people had to say about it. And the first thing has to do with the iPhone SE or the iPhone 9, as some people have still referred to it as. The iPhone SE will be hopefully coming out this week. So as soon as maybe tomorrow, we might be able to pre-order it. It's hard to say, but according to John Prosser and some others, it looks like that may be when it's going to come out. We thought it was going to be earlier, according to 9 to 5 Mac, but it looks like an equivalent of this iPhone seven in jet black or an iPhone eight will be coming out with a new home button and we'll just have a new small iPhone or less expensive iPhone. So expect that later this week, if all of the information is correct. Now, the next thing is from John Prosser and that has to do with air power. Now, a lot of, you know, how I regularly wireless charge my phone. I use wireless charging all the time in my car at home at night. And it looks like Apple continues to work on air power and it looks like they're going to use an a 11 chipset to handle charging over different coils. So the idea is you can put your phone down your Apple watch and maybe your AirPods down and charge them all at the same time, regardless of where you set them on that pad. And so along with all of that, we would expect it to be somewhere around $200 or so. It's hard to say for sure, but that seems likely knowing Apple. Now the next piece of information has to do with Apple watch. And this was released by Max Weinbeck and everything Apple pro. And that has to do with Apple, not only focusing on activities and things like that as far as health, but also mental health. So that could come with watch OS eight. It may be in watch OS seven, but it looks like it may be further out. And what it, what it would do is use the different sensors within the iPhone and the Apple watch to determine maybe your stress based on movement, your heart rate, your O2 saturation, and those sorts of things to determine how stressed you are based on some questions it could ask you as well, and maybe give you some suggestions or tips. Now, when that will actually come out, and when we'll see that is really hard to say, but it looks like something Apple would definitely be interested in adding to watch OS for future improvements since it seems to be all about health. So look for that in the coming year or two. Now, the next piece of information, which is the most exciting to me has to do with the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 we'll probably see later this year, just like everyone expects. And not only will it have the three cameras, like I've talked about before, but it will have the LIDAR sensor, just like the new iPads pro and the iPads pro. This is the 12.9 iPad pro. This LIDAR sensor is great for augmented reality and maybe augmented reality within maps and things like that. But we can expect a redesign of the iPhone to look more like this iPad pro with its squared off edges. And that's something I've wanted back since the iPhone five and five S or even the four. So here's an iPhone five. And this was one of my favorite designs. Now my actual favorite design is the four and four S. So it could look anything like that, but it looks like it's going to have a squared off design. And this I know is probably the most favorite out of all of the people I've asked on Twitter polls and things like that. Most people seem to like the five and five S the most, and it looks like this could be the next design or something similar to it. So we would have the large size as well up to 6.7 inches and have four different variants of the next iPhone 12. Now, a lot of that information about the iPhone 12 came out last week, as far as the four different size variants from John Prosser. But this week, Mark Gurman at Bloomberg has said, not only will it have four different variants, variants, but it will also include 5g like we expected. And Apple is working on a smaller notch. So for those of you that really do not like the notch at all, it looks like they're going to be either making it smaller or trying to totally eliminate it over the next year or two. So whether or not the iPhone 12 has a smaller notch is hard to say, but knowing Apple, they probably will try and make it smaller and smaller until it doesn't exist anymore. Now, the other thing too, to go along with this is we'll probably see a staggered rollout of models. Now we've seen this when the iPhone eight plus and iPhone 10 launched where we had staggered rollouts. So we got some of the phones first and then we got some later on. They supposedly are going to do the same exact thing with the iPhone 12 launch. So maybe we'll have the iPhone 12 and maybe the 12 pro and then the 12 pro max come a little bit later on or whatever Apple decides to do. But either way, it looks like they're going to be doing that sort of rollout this year. And given everything going on, that seems to make a lot of sense. Now, as we get closer to the actual release of the iPhone 12 later this fall or autumn, we should see prototype units made for case makers, just like this one. This is one of the prototype units that it doesn't work or anything, but it gave us an idea of size and what the iPhone 11 pro max would look like. So 
they sort of got it right, except the way the camera module looks, but it gives you the general idea of size. I would expect the exact same thing with the iPhone 12. One other piece of information that came from Mark Gurman has to do with the home pod. It looks like Apple may be working on a smaller variant that would be less expensive and would complement what you might already have as far as a home pod, but just may maybe be a home pod mini or something along those lines. Any more specifics than that have not really been released, but it looks like that could be in the works. Now, some people were really excited about the potential possibility of widgets on your home screen. Like I mentioned last week, that may be in iOS 14. However, more information is coming out saying probably not in iOS 14, but rather iOS 15. So it's hard to say if Apple's actually going to focus on anything other than stability and a few little minor tweaks with iOS 14, but a readjustment of widgets and things like that would be really nice to be able to add your widgets from say your widgets right now and just put them here. So that would be a nice change, but it's hard to say if we'll see that with iOS 14 and instead with iOS 15. And then finally, we're still waiting for that upcoming 13 inch MacBook pro replacement. This is the current 13 inch with its butterfly keys. And a lot of people don't like that along with the older style touch ID and touch bar and things like that. Apple is still yet to release it, completing their lineup. And I think we'll see it fairly soon, but maybe as soon as next month, but they have still not released it. So hopefully we see that really soon for those that are looking to upgrade to a 13 inch or maybe even a 14 inch MacBook pro. Pro. And that is really it for information this week. Now, every week, by the end of the week, there's more and more information leaked. And I know a lot of you want to know is iOS 13.4.5 beta two coming out tomorrow or later this week. And I would say at this point, it's hard to say whether or not it'll be a beta or a final release since within the code of that version is actually mention of the iPhone SE or a new iPhone with a home button. So it's possible they could just push it out to the public since they never did a public beta, but it's hard to say, and we'll only know as time goes on. Now that's it for this week's information. And as more information comes in, of course, I'll keep you updated with that as well. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, of course, I'll link it in the description as I always do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.